Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's PZ Lou here and today we're making a video about how to change your appearance using the Law of Attraction Part 2. So I already made a video about how to change your appearance using the Law of Attraction and me being the YouTuber that I am and I just recently started, it honestly was like my most viral video. Viral video. It still is my most viral video. I get the most questions, the most comments, the most emails all about how to use Law of Attraction to change your appearance. And so I decided to make a part two video. Um, and today I have six tips on how to change your appearance using the Law of Attraction. But before we begin, guys, I do just want to remind us, remind us all, even myself, is that we are spiritual beings living a physical life. We're not physical beings that are going to go live a spiritual life. We're literally spiritual energy floating around the world and we decided that we wanted to come onto this earth and play and live a certain life and challenge ourselves to see if we could win basically that's my interpretation of it i mean i'm not i mean psychic or anything or maybe i am whatever we'll get into that later no um but you're watching this video because you want to change something using the law of attraction physically but just to remind you that you are a spiritual being and the more you better you feel inside that will reflect on the outside and that's like true tea um, but anyway into today's video so like I said I have six tips for you guys today the first tip is um, self-love so it kind of just goes off of what I just said but not so basically if you're trying to attract um, a certain appearance using the law of attraction First, before you do that, you got to make sure that you love what you have now. So it's never going to work if you're like, I hate my body and I hate my lips and I hate my stomach and I hate my boobs and my chin and everything. And I just need this to change now. So universe, change it now. I'm going to do the 5 by 55. I'm going to do the two cup method, whatever it is. I'm going to do it because I hate how I look, you know, like annoying ass shit. Don't have that mind frame. It's more of like, you know what? Thank you, God, for like this beautiful body that you've given me, this healthy body that you've given me like on here on this earth. I mean, thank you for giving me 10 fingers, 10 toes, two hands, two legs, if that's your case. Um, thank you for this beautiful body that I'm inhabiting and this healthy hair and these eyes and these lips. But it would really be nice if I could have a skinnier neck <laughs> I'm laughing about that right now because it sounds really silly but that really was one of my manifestations like hey my neck looks really like fat and short like can I get it like a skinnier longer neck because like I want to like elongate the way that my chin looks into my like whatever this is your chest bone into like my arms and stuff because I felt like I always had like these really like big arms and like a chunky neck you know what I mean so I manifested what I wanted I mean I'm still working on it but the point is is that that's something that I manifest but at the end of the day it wasn't like god I hate my neck make it better like oh I just hate this I just really need to manifest this I need to manifest this please 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 god no it's not like that it's just like thank you for everything that I have but you know it would be nice to have this don't make it seem like so desperate. Make it be really, really light and like fun. Like, you know what? <laughs> this neck is like tripping, God. Like, you know, it would be nice to have like a, a better one. You know what I mean? And then like the universe is going to do whatever it needs to do to help you get to that smaller neck. And it's going to like send you clues. It sounds so funny because I'm using this like neck example, but it's really my example. But the universe is going to do whatever it is that it's going to do to get you that smaller neck. And it's going to send you, you know, sign how you can take action. But you can't just like fully believe that the universe and the universe alone is just going to make it happen. Yeah, they're going to find the shortest, most possible way to make it happen for you because they can see what we can't see. But at the end of the day, you need to take some action. So for me, I downloaded an app about how to have a skinnier face or skinnier neck and it gave me a bunch of exercises to do and that's fine. Like I do those exercises, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is. I just let it go and, you know, eventually it'll come to me. Um, So that's my first tip is to have some self-love for yourself before you decide what it is that you want to manifest. Don't manifest as it like in such a lack form like I don't have this and so I really need this please help just manifest like you know I'm thankful for what I do have but it would be nice to have this you know so that's tip number one um and then in addition to tip number one like you look the way that you thought in the past so just like a little like reminder think really great things about yourself because how you feel about yourself now is the future that you're creating for yourself so make sure you tell yourself how beautiful you are how great you look you know how healthy you are because that's going to manifest for you in the future. You're only the result of your past thoughts and your future is the result of your current thoughts. So just keep that in mind. Um, tip two is to be clear and specific on your desire, right? 
you don't go to a bar. I like to use the bar as an example because I do drink and I go to the bar. I don't think that anything's wrong with it. Some law of attraction, like specialists, if you want to call them or whatever, think that it's silly to smoke or drink because it takes away from your vibration, but to each his own. So I go to the bar, you know, you wouldn't go to a bar and be like, hey, I want to drink. The bartender is going to look at you like, okay, you want to drink? What kind of drink would you like? You know, do you want beer? Do you want wine? Do you want a cocktail? Do you want a shot? Do you want a shooter? Like, what is it? Like, I'm a bartender myself. I'm like a little bit more peppy and bubbly. Like, okay, well, what is it that you like to drink? Ah, ha, ha. Depends on what kind of like mood I'm in. Like, okay, what kind of, you know, sometimes I'm like, hey, well, okay, all right. What, what kind of drinks do you usually drink? If I'm like feeling flirty or I'm like, all right, what kind of drinks do you usually drink? Or if it's like a bitch with her man and just like looking down, not even looking at me. I'm like, what kind of drink does she usually drink so I can make her a good one? No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm getting so far off into like my real life. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, is to be clear and specific about what it is that you want. So you wouldn't go to a bar and say that you just want to drink. You wouldn't go to Starbucks and be like, hey, I want a coffee. They're going to be like, okay, you want like a regular coffee? Like what size? Or do you want like the brew of today? Or do you want a dark brew? Do you want a light brew? Do you want a blonde? Like, what, what do you want? You know what I mean? So be specific with, with the universe. Tell God, tell the universe, put it out there exactly what it is that you want. So if it's like a skinnier neck or a prettier hair or a bigger butt or bigger boobs or whatever it is, be specific about that. Um, my third tip is to act as if it's already done. So like when you wake up in the morning, say for instance, I know in my um, how to lose weight without working out video, I gave an example about how like, just wake up in the morning and just feel so great. Like, yes, I'm going to this event today or I'm going to class today or I'm going to work today and I get to put on my like size whatever jeans and I know that they fit me so good and I'm so excited and I know everybody's just giving me all these compliments about it. It's gonna feel so great because I already know they're gonna give me compliments about my jeans and how good my butt looks in them and how good my thighs look in them. I'm just like, dang, you look good, girl. Have you lost weight? Like, that's a great way to wake up. You wake up feeling so good. And when you first wake up, you set the intention of the day because you're still kind of in your subconscious mind a little bit. And your subconscious mind is like really how you flow. The problem is, is that our eyes see this physical earth that we're living in and then it like changes everything. Although our subconscious mind is all our thoughts and it's trying to give us what we want, but whatever. Anyway. You get it. So act as if it is you have what you already what you already desire. So if it's like a bigger butt or something and you're going out to a club or a work function where you have to dress up or something and you're wearing this dress and or you want to wear this, you got this dress and you want to wear it and you hope that your like butt looks bigger in it or something. This could be six months down the line at your Christmas party. Like, oh, my God. I'm so happy and so excited that I got to go to my Christmas party. Everybody complimented me on this dress. I'm so glad I could fit into it. I'm so glad that my body looks so great in it. You know, act as if it already happened. Um, and while you're acting as if, just make sure that, again, you still love yours. Because you might be acting as if when you first wake up about wearing this nice dress or fitting in these jeans. But the reality might be that you can't even get them jeans above your thighs or your hips so just make sure that you continue to send this love out to the world for yourself because then god will keep giving you that love for yourself like you know what i'm visualizing that i wear this size jean even though i can't get them over my hips but i still love myself and i'm still beautiful you know and then god's gonna be like oh my god she loves herself she thinks that she's beautiful let me keep giving her this confidence. And then before you know it, those pants are going to be up. You're going to be buttoning them up. Everybody's going to be complimenting you. And you're going to be like, damn, I'm the shit. Period. And you're going to be like so much more confident. And you're going to think that all the time. And you're going to think more confidently. And you're going to want to go to the gym more and eat healthier. And you're just going to keep creating that life for you. And keep setting that intention. And keep having those great thoughts so that your future can be that great. My fifth tip today is to give love and appreciation to people when you see something that it is that you want in them. So this actually was a tip in my other video. It's like if you see a girl that has a really nice ass and you want a really nice ass, don't look at her and be like, oh, that bitch probably thinks she's a shit because she got this nice ass. You'd be like, oh my God, girl. Like you have a really nice body. Like 
all hail to you or oh my goodness like you have some really beautiful hair oh my gosh your lips are like amazing like oh your skin like whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and you see somebody else that has it appreciate it appreciate it and don't hate you got to send this love out into the world and when you give that person that compliment they're gonna feel so good they it's probably gonna be like really like unexpected to them but they're gonna feel so great like oh my gosh like maybe i am looking good yay because you never know what type of day anybody is having so if you see somebody that has something that it is that you desire compliment them if you can if you see them from far away just compliment them in your head like wow that person looks good it'd be nice to look like that and let it go don't hold on to it too tight. Don't be jealous. Don't hate because then it just won't come to you because that's not how the universe works. So that's my tip number five. My last tip today, guys, my tip number six is to let go. This tip is so important today because I've had a really crazy last couple of days I'm gonna be honest like you guys know I moved to a new city and I absolutely love Vegas every time I come to Vegas I have a grand old time but this is the first time where I'm like living here living here and I've had quite some obstacles and since I know that I can attract really easily and I can manifest really easily I've been doing all my meditations and writing my affirmations and writing in my journal before I go to sleep I thought about doing the two cup method again I thought about doing the five by fifty five and I was clinging on to what I want to happen here in Vegas so hard that it almost started to slip away from me until I watched one video by um, Kaylin Bowman. She's a, another Law of Attraction YouTuber. I watched a video from her today about, I forget what it was titled. Maybe I can link it down below for you guys if I can find it again because <laughs> I, I subscribe to so many channels. But she was just explaining how when you feel like your vibration is off and you want to do anything and everything to get it back high, because when you're really like an expert at this law of attraction thing, you know that when you vibrate high, when you're happier, better things come to you. So I was trying to watch meditations, do affirmations, uh, Reiki healings, like all this stuff in the past couple of days, like trying to cram it. Like I got to get back. I got to get back. I got to get back. And she helped me realize that I was just holding on so tight. And to just let go. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Because I'm human. And although I teach this stuff to you and I like live by it, it's like, damn, sometimes I need to be reminded too. Like, I have bad days. Shit, I've had a bad week. But I still got to make these damn videos because I know that I'm going to like help people and like encourage people. And then, you know, I want this to be my job. Like, yeah, eventually I'm going to get paid for it and that's fine. But like, this is something that I really want to like help people out with. And so... All I'm saying is, whatever it is that you want physically in your appearance, whatever it is, once you've put it out there and you've done all these other tips, genuinely just let it go. And when I say let it go, I mean like go about your day as if you already have it for real. Go about your day as if you don't need it. Like, you know what, whatever. I know what's going to happen, period, you know. Before I moved to Vegas, like, I was trying to, I couldn't find, like, apartment for, like, ever. And I'm like, I want to find, like, my dream apartment. Like, I want to get, like, a dream home. Like, that's all I ever talk about. Like, I want to make sure that I'm, like, really comfortable where I live at. And, yeah, I love, like, my new place and everything. But it didn't come to me until literally I flew into Las Vegas and my Airbnb got canceled that I booked for like a month or two and I had to just like find some place within two days after I paid for like a hotel for two days. It was absolutely ridiculous. But the universe, I was holding on to it so much that the universe couldn't just naturally give me the apartment that I have now, you know? So I really had to like kind of just let go and be like, okay, I just flew here and I don't have anywhere to go. That's crazy. But you know what? The universe has my back. And I'm just going to sit here at this airport until we figure it out. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to take a shot. <laughs> like I said, I mean, I'll go to the bar. I'm going to take a shot, relax for a little bit, and then come back to it. And then eventually everything worked out because I let go of it. And I'm like, the universe has my back. The universe has my back and I'm going to be fine. Period. That's it, guys. So a little recap on how to change your appearance using the law of attraction. One is to have self-love for yourself already. Two is to be clear and specific about what it is that you'd like and desire. Three is to act as if you already have it, own it. Oh, four. We didn't even talk about tip four. Did I skip straight from tip three to tip five and nobody told me? 
y'all should have told me. Anyway, tip four is to ignore your current realities. So, yeah, like I did say, you might not be able to fit those pants or whatever, but just ignore that. Who cares? Take them damn pants off and know that you can fit them. Let it go. Ignore your current reality. Ignore all the things that are around you. Ignore the noise. Ignore the noise. And just go with the flow. Um, tip five is to give love and appreciation to what you see in other people. So if somebody has those lips or have those eyes or have that hair, have that ass. Have those boots. <laughs> really a dork and I just messed up my hat I'm looking like fucking anyway have love and appreciation for what you want and that you see in other people it definitely works don't be a hater like give love and love will come back to you um and my sixth tip was to let go that was like one of the most important tips so once you figure out what it is that you want and you act as if you visualize you have love for yourself let it go like okay the universe has my back and it's gonna come to me who knows, it might be here next week, it might be here a month from now or three months from now, but at the point is, is that when you get there, you're gonna feel so happy. Cause it does, it's happening. Like energy is never created or destroyed. Like that body that you want or whatever it is that you wanna change physically already exists. You just gotta get on that vibration to where it is. Point blank period. When you wanna change the channel on a radio, you just change it, right? When you wanna change the channel on your TV, you just change it, right? When you wanna use your phone and call somebody, you just call that frequency, right, to get to them. So the thing is, is that we can just call or dial into that frequency to where we're a millionaire or where we have a nice ass or where we have big boobs or where we have nice lips or where we have straight teeth. We can literally call and dial to that frequency because everything's happening at the same time because energy is never created or destroyed. But the point is, is that since we've been conditioned for so long to think that what we want is so hard to get that we have these mental blockages in our head so i really highly recommend doing some meditation um just try it try it out as a beginner do some meditation maybe some reiki, reiki energy healing music i listen to it all the time you can just listen to it while you're getting ready for work or while you know you're getting ready for school whatever but like you know just chill out a little bit guys and just let go and let god i know that whatever it is that you want to attract you can get i'm living proof of it I mean, even if you scroll down to like some of my first videos as if I have like 30,000 or anything, but if you scroll down to some of my first videos, like the way that I look is completely different now, even though I want to go blonde again. But um, try this thing out, guys. It works. Comment down below your success stories. Um, if anything that you manifest and make yourself look better, tell me something good. Tell me something great so we can keep sending amazing vibrations out into this world. Um, like this video if you really like this content and you want to like, hear a little bit more about it or have more videos like this um and please subscribe ring the bell to get my notifications so you can see whenever i am uploading videos i'm trying to upload videos like every other day or every two days because i'm just i have a little bit more free time on my hands so until the next time love bugs it is peasy lou she always keeps a brew and um bye